Question number 166. Select the incorrect statement. The very first statement says histamine causes dilation of the arterioles and this is a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question because histamine which is a main mediator of inflammation is a vasodilator and it causes dilation of arterioles the next statement is symptoms of allergic reaction include sneezing watery eyes running nose and difficulty in breathing and as it is a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question because hypersensitivity or allergic reaction are characterized by symptoms such as sneezing, watery eyes, running nose and difficulty in breathing. The next statement is modern day lifestyle has resulted in lowering of immunity and more sensitivity towards the allergens and as it is also a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question because in metro cities of India protected environment provided to children early in life has resulted in lowering of immunity so more and more children suffer from allergy and asthma so the last statement which says that in metro cities of India more and more children suffer from allergy and asthma due to unprotected environment provided early in life is an incorrect statement because it is because of the protected environment provided in early life. So a statement given option number 4 is an incorrect statement. So this is a correct answer to our question. So the correct answer is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 167 complete the analogy. Secondary lymphoid organ is to tonsil. Primary lymphoid organ is to choose the correct option. The options given are bone marrow, spleen, lymph node and appendix and we know that spleen, lymph node and appendix are secondary lymphoid organs. So these cannot be the correct answer whereas bone marrow and thymus are primary lymphoid organs. So the correct answer among the given options is option number one bone marrow which is a primary lymphoid organ. So the correct answer is option number one. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 168 a gland that is large at birth but keeps reducing in size with age reaching a very small size by puberty is and the options are thyroid, pituitary, thymus and parathyroid and we know that thymus plays a major role in development of the immune system. Thymus is degenerated in old individuals as a result the immune responses of old people become weak so a gland that reduces in size with age is option number three thymus is a correct answer to our question let's discuss rest of the options option number one thyroid option number two pituitary and last option parathyroid cannot be a correct answer because these are endocrine glands which do not get reduced in size with increase in age so the correct answer to this question is option number three let's discuss our next question question number 169 choose the correct statement in the very first option the statement is the secondary lymphoid organs provide the sites for phagocytosis of antigen by NK cells and this is an incorrect statement because NK cells are white blood cells that participates in immune response whereas secondary lymphoid organs provide sites of interaction of lymphocytes with antigens and not NK cells with antigens. The next statement in option 2 is in bone marrow all blood cells excluding lymphocytes are produced and this is an incorrect statement because bone marrow is a primary lymphoid organ where all blood cells including lymphocytes are produced. The next statement given in option 3 is only bone marrow provides micro environment for the development and maturation of T lymphocytes and this is an incorrect statement because both bone marrow and thymus provides micro environment for the development and maturation of T lymphocytes. Let's read the last option. In the last option statement given is spleen is a large reservoir of erythrocytes and as it is a correct statement this is a correct answer to our question. Spleen which is a secondary lymphoid organ and often called as graveyard of RBC acts as a large reservoir of erythrocytes. So the correct answer to this question is option number four. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 170. Mucosa associated lymphoid tissue, malt, constitutes about percent of lymphoid tissue in the human body. Choose the option which fills the blank correctly. And the options are 70, 50, 
80 and 40. Now this is a direct line from your NCRT book which says that mild constitutes about 50% of lymphoid tissue in human body. So the correct answer to this question is option number 2, 50. Whereas option number 1, 3 and 4, 70, 80 and 40 cannot be a correct answer to our question. So the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's discuss our next question.